What's up, internet? Or to use the Transformers Universal greeting, ba weep grana weep ninny bong. We're talking Transformers fan theories today, and to help me is the epic voice himself and the voice of Optimus Prime in Machinima's Combiner War series, Mr. John Bailey. Hey, buddy. Thank you for having me. Number one. Future humans created the Allspark. The Transformers are actually human creations from the future. Future humans create the Allspark, thus creating the Transformers. The Allspark gets transported back four million years to Earth's past, where it lays hidden until Megatron finds it in the first Transformers movie. This is a kind of out there theory. Uh, but, you know, there, there, there's some stuff in Transformers canon that kind of, could support this, maybe. Like, there, there's a lot of, there is a lot of time travel in Transformers. Uh, true. In the current comics, uh, Metroplex, the city formers can travel through time. Yep. Uh, Beast the, Wars. Beast Wars. Travel Beast back, Wars yep. traveled through time. Uh, but humans creating Transformers, I take very personally and I'm easily offended as a Transformers fan. I'm gonna give this two out of six cliff jumpers. Ah. Uh. Number two, Optimus Prime is a terrorist. Optimus Prime and the Autobots, a small cabal of terrorists who are fighting against a Cybertronian society they see as corrupt. I mean, technically this is correct? Yeah, I mean, this was this kind of sounds Transformers 4-ish though, where he's on the run and he doesn't trust humans anymore and they see him yeah. as this danger, but I don't know. I mean, it's kind of, you know, they're, uh, you know, even in uh, in the, the very first episode of the cartoon, you've got uh, Bumblebee and Wheeljack kind of sneaking around and stealing power converters. That's true. Trying to get back to Iacon. So, yeah. yeah. I, they were know. rebels. Well, that was because the bad guys were in charge. But, yeah, you know. exactly. Uh, so, you know what? This is kind of true. I'm going to give this a uh, five out of five. Technobots. <laughs> Number three, Optimus Prime becomes Nemesis Prime. Optimus Prime will become Nemesis Prime in Transformers 5. As Optimus heads into space to find the creators, his evil twin Nemesis will come to wreak havoc on the Earth. Nemesis Prime hasn't really shown up in movies or anything like that, and it's no. kind of an obscure we, character. We all assumed when they were cloning with the Transformers DNA. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought that that was going to be a Nemesis Prime, and instead we got Galvatron. So that uh, so, Nemesis Prime is Optimus Prime uh, with a goatee. Uh, I had to voice him for a, uh, a convention once, and I gave him Christopher Walken's voice. Oh, I, I like that, that a lot. That and great. since the Michael Bay movies do have a lot of Transformers with beards for some reason. It's true. I think this is kind of plausible. So <laughs> I'm going to give this four out of five miscolored bronze. <laughs> Number four, Age of Extinction is about the death of the American dream. Transformers Age of Extinction is about Michael Bay coming to terms with the failure of America. Even though it's a film about giant robots, it's really about the death of the American dream and the falling of American life. This one's all about Merca. That's deep, too. And, uh, you know, these aren't, th you don't just do the epic voice, you don't just do Optimus Prime. Uh, who is another Transformers character that I think could really kind of sum this theory up. Jeez, man, you gotta go military. You gotta, yeah, you gotta go hound, maybe. Yeah, you gotta uh, go hound. But I see. I was thinking I'd like to go the human route. I was thinking, I was thinking, get, can you hit me with a little a little Cade Jaeger? None of the American characters can achieve or maintain their desired goals through illegal means. This message is clear. Michael Day is saying that the American dream and the way of life is broken, and the country itself is in such bad shape that citizens either need to promote change by the threat of force or give up the roles of world power and hand the duties over to Asia. Otherwise, Americans will be abused by the current system until their rights and opportunities will become just as obsolete as the Autobots almost were in this film. You know what's crazy? And by the way, you killed it. You know what's crazy? Not as good as Dan Murrow, but you know. This is, uh, this is exactly uh, how I used to play with my toys when I was a nine-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Nothing a handful of changed. Dinobots and uh, the fall of an empire. I'm giving the, I'm rating this one uh, 14 out of 20 Combaticons. That sounds fair. <laughs> sounds fair. Sounds fair to me. Absolutely. That sounds. How does it feel, Mighty Megatron? Ooh. <laughs> Number five. The last night is Rom the Space Knight. Rom the Space Knight is the last night mentioned in the title of the new Transformers movie. In a brilliant movie of merchandising savvy, Rom will cross over with the Transformers, creating toy fan Nirvana. I can see this happening. Totally uh, plausible. Totally plausible. It has been highly hinted at that Rom, being a Hasbro property, will return as part of the Transformers cinematic universe. You can't 
make movies now without them being cinematic universes. Hasbro's got G.I. Joe, they've got ROM, they've got Mask, Mask. they've got Transformers. At some point... Yep, My Little Pony's going to be in there somewhere. Yeah, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is going to be there. What's going on? And in, in uh, in the spirit of corporate synergy, I am giving this 10 out of 10 Twilight Sparkles. John, you actually had your own Transformers theory. I did. Uh, this this movie f- has a very similar feel to an episode of Transformers in the Generation car- Generation One cartoon, where uh, they traveled back to the uh, the days of King Arthur. Uh, would you be referring to a Decepticon Raider in King Arthur's court? That is absolutely correct. So I no, I, maybe just Michael Bay saw this and is like, yeah, let's make a movie out of that. That seems crazy. I'm let's do that honestly, thing. I, I'm honestly fine with that. Like these movies are a little too self serious. For That's me true. at this point, like do this, do sea spray falling in love with the the mermaid. Well, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm completely well, down. The with reason that. why I thought that episode was so much fun is because it reminded me of Evil Dead: Army of Darkness. Because they have to build bombs because there there's no technology and it has to show them like gunpowder and I'm like if they did it that way I would they be got- on board. They got bored a few times writing that show. <laughs> I think I dig this theory. I am giving this 10 out of 10 wheelies. So guys, normally this is the part where I would sign off from the video, but when you're sitting next to Optimus Prime, you let him handle the heavy lifting. So take it away, Optimus. Let us know what you want to see in the next Transformers movies. Are any of these theories plausible? Click here for more Screen Junkies news. Until that day, until all are one. Autobots transform and subscribe to my channel at Epic Voice Guy.